Aloha mai kako. Welcome back to Halau na Puahala Kuno Ikekai. My name is Kumu Kanoi. This is my trusty assistant and my son, Ims Kalaniakea Williams. And that's my husband, Ims Daddy, behind the camera. We're so happy to be with you. Coming to you live from Nu'uanu Valley, right here on the island of Oahu, here in Hawaii. It is a beautiful day. Can't wait to say hello to some of you folks, but we've got lots to do. We have a birthday to celebrate. We have a, uh, a soon to be wedded couple to congratulate and uh, lots of hula. We're also gonna do hula. That's actually what we're here for. So <laughs> I think it's time. my welcome back. We are going to start our Ohana Hula class the same way that we start every Saturday class. Um, this class is geared towards the entire Ohana. So, uh, you know, kids, adults, kupuna, your neighbor, whoever. <laughs> <laughs> they can all come along and join us. We're going to start with Hawaii Pono'i because we honor um, our, uh, our history. This actually used to be our national anthem when Hawaii was a nation of its own. And now it is our state anthem. It is written by King David Kalakaua and Henry Berger, the, <laughs> the bandmaster <laughs> of the Royal Hawaiian Band. So we will honor them by doing all three verses as well as the hui. Make sure Palikekua, your back is straight like a cliff. Mahina Kealo, your face shines with a beautiful smile like the moon. Hawaii Pono I Pa. Hawaii Pono I Na Na I Komo I Kala Ni Ali I Ke Ali I Maku So that was Hawaii Pono I. At this time, we're going to greet all of you. Uh, we usually do our Oli Aloha, and we want to know who we're saying Aloha to. So before my computer dies, actually, can you go and try to find my charger in my backpack over there while I greet some people? OK, so we have joining us. Peggy, you were one of the first. Mahalo and mahalo for sharing this class. I think she actually pressed the little share arrow so that all of her followers know that she is coming to Hula right now and they're welcome to join us. Aloha also to Barbara in Kailua Kona. Emmy is joining us from Connecticut, I think. Um, Kat is signing in with Kian 
who is joining us from Kalihi, right over the valley over here. Uh, Joey is joining us. Aloha, Joey. I think Pearl City I, uh, area. Um, Monica from Hungary. Alexa is joining us from Manoa Valley over this way on this island. Michelle Vaughn, uh, Ilse is joining us. We have Rosalinda from Florida and Maru joining us from Texas. It is so good to know that you are out there and dancing along with us. Thanks for being here today, everybody. Um, we will have another chance for you to send in some comments and have them flash up on the screen later on because we have some newlyweds to, uh, or soon to be newlyweds. Anyways, save those comments for later. We'll throw them up there hopefully a little bit later in class. Right now, we are going to do our Oli Aloha. And our Oli Aloha, of course, um, Let's see, where can we plug this in? Can you help me figure that out? Okay, can you maybe up there? Okay, so be careful of the camera. So I don't know, Daddy, maybe you can help. No? Oh, here. Sorry. This is live. This is live, you know, what we do. How, how about right here? I see where we can plug it in. You know, we're so excited because we have all of these new toys. I don't know if you could tell the difference. Wait, 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 wait. I'll put it over here. Um, this is our home. We're coming to you from our home, actually, but we're making it into a studio. We actually got a new mic today. Right. Yeah, right. you can't see it. It's behind <laughs> the camera. We have two cameras, three, ca four, four, ca four cameras, and um, obviously we're not professionals at this, but thanks for bearing with us. Okay, let's do our Oli Aloha. I think we're all charged and ready to go now. <laughs> Oli Aloha. Pa. Akahai na Hawaii, loka hia kulike, olu olu kamana o, ha a ha a kokulana, aho nuya lana kila, aloha. Aloha to all of you, and thank you. I can feel the love through the computer. You're like, it's okay, just keep going. Okay, here we go. <laughs> At this time, we're gonna noho ilalo, have a seat on the ground, because we're gonna go into the section that we do our prayers. So the first prayer that we're going to do is our Hawaiian doxology. We actually do two verses of the doxology, the one that most people know, um, which is by Hiram Bingham, and another one that is written by a dear Kumu of ours, Kumu Haunani Bernardino, who um, has passed but left behind this second verse to Ho'onani. Question or comment? Um, their first names both start with H and their last names both start with H. That is, a, that is a great observation that I never noticed. HB and HB, Hiram Bingham and Haunani Bernardino. It was meant to be. So let's sing HB's Pule. <laughs> Ho o nani pa. Ho o nani ka makua mo. Ke ke ki me ka uhane no. Ke a kua mo. Ho o mai ka i pu. for singing along with us. Next week will be the last week of the month, so we'll tru do our harmonies next week. Yes, question. Uh, so, like, you know the song for or the, the national anthem? The national anthem, Hawaii Pono I, uh, yes. Like, when are we going to try to do the, the verses in the melody of the chorus? 
Oh, I don't know. We're going to have to talk about that. Yeah, yeah well, he wants to try and do a mashup, I, I think. said it a long time. Ago. Yes, okay. We'll, we'll give it a try. Okay. <laughs> Let's do Ekeo Kua, which is done in the Kahuahua style. I will lead. Eames will follow. You can choose to be the leader or the follower, okay? Ekeo Kua, pause. Eke akua, Eke akua, Mahalo no, Mahalo no, Mahalo ya oi, Mahalo ya oi, No ke ya la, No ke ya la, Amene, 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 Amene. Mahalo for that. That prayer says thank you for this day. And I want you to see what a beautiful day it is out here. Can we can we show them what a beautiful day it is outside our window? Yes. It is a gorgeous day here in Hawaii. Um, and we're coming to you again from Nu'uanu Valley. So this is this is the Anila or this is the weather right here in Nu'uanu. But we want to ask you, Pehea Kianila, how is the weather where you live? Um, so to answer answer that question, you would say, hey, la, blank, ke ia, which means this day is blank, okay? Um, or this is a blank day. But if it's nighttime, like for many of you folks that are tuning in from Europe, then you would say, hey, po, blank, ke ia. So if it is a calm day, you would say, hey, la, malie, ke ia. If it's a cold day, hey, la, nuanu, ke ia. Cloudy day, hey, la, O malu malu ke ia. If it's a hot day, then you would say he la vela ke ia. If it's a windy day, not a crazy day, but a windy day, it would be he la makani ke ia. If it's a stormy day, you would say he la ino ke ia. And if it's a muggy and sweaty and humid day, you would say he la ikiiki ke ia. And if it's a dry day, we don't have too many of those here, but maybe in the desert, some of you folks do, it would be he la malo'o ke ia. And if it's a rainy day, which we actually get quite often, it would be he la ua ke ia. So go ahead and type into the comments. We would love to know how the weather is around the world with our global hula ohana. Yes, sir. Last night was like glowing. Yes, it was a po ua. Um, Ikopone last night here in Nuuanu. So we should have taken some pictures and video of that to show you. So thank you for letting us know. We would love to hear from you. At this time, we're going to move on with our chants and we're going to rise up the sun that's actually already up. Oh, I see some of you are writing in. Very good. Okay, so our chant right now is going to be Ealae. Let's rise up the sun. Ours is up already. Some of you maybe will save this for 12 hours from now. Okay, ready? E ala e, e ala e, kala i ka hiki na, i ka moana, ka moana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva, ka leva nu, i ka hiki na, aya ka la, e ala e, hana ho, go! E ala e, second chance, kala i ka hiki na, i ka moana, ka moana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva, very good thank you he reminded me. We used to clasp like this, but we actually heard from the Kanaka Ole family that you should just cup and clap like this. So we're going to try to do that. And remember, sorry, bad habit or old habits. All right. Next up is Eho Mai, which helps us to focus and get ready to learn all the things. So here comes Eho Mai. And this is written by Edith. Ke kuhi kuhi pu'u o ne o na liki o kohala Kanaka Ole. That's a mouthful. Sheesh. Eho mai. Pa. 
e ho mai ka i ke mai luna mai e o na a me a guna no e a o na me le e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho mai ka i ke mai luna mai e o na a me a guna no e a o na me le We're going to go on to do our ipu beats. We're just gonna go right to the beats. So grab your ipu, um, yeah, and we're gonna practice our beats. Go grab your ipu. Okay. okay. And we're gonna see how our new mic does with this ipu beats and all of that. Let us know if the sound um, is working out okay on your side. We're kind of still testing things over here, so. You know. Sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. It's like an Easter egg hunt finding the ipu over here. Okay, so um, we do actually have an ipu class coming up, and we'll share a little bit of card of information about that in a moment. Um, but that's coming up really, really soon, and so many of you have signed up to join us. So we're excited to see many of you, and you've sent in your payment. Everybody has paid, too, so th thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> but we're excited to have that. For right now, let's practice these basic uh, beats, which we will cover in the ipu class in more depth. So hold your ipu with the left hand, and you're going to pa'i or, or hit the ipu with the right hand. And the first one that we're going to start off with is the ka-eke, I was stalling for him. The, right, come right here. <laughs> the ka-eke loloi, which is the little rattling sound. So for that one, you're just going to rattle your hand back and forth. Follow my hands, because he's doing it backwards for you. So hold it with your left hand. Right hand is rattling back and forth. That's it. The next most basic beat is called the pa. The pa is a combination of u and te. Okay, so let's try the pa beat in succession over and over. Ready? Pa. Four times. Last one and stop. Very good. Did oh did you no. stop? No. What? Huh? That, that was four. That was four. Okay. Kahela double beat. This one is gonna be a u te te. Let's do four of those. Ready? Go. It's a one and a two and a three and a four. I was counting for me. Make sure I don't mess it up. The last one is called cool cool. We're gonna hit it on the ground three times. Ooh ooh ooh. And then we're gonna add the te te that we have from the Kahala beat. Let's do the cuckoo beat four times. Ready, set, here we go. It's a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and stop. Very good. Let's do a little pattern, simple, simple one today. Just an easy one, okay? All I would like to have is pa Kahala, pa Kahala, pa Kahala cuckoo. Give it a try, one, Two, ready, go a pa, kahela, a pa, kahela, a pa, kahela, and kuku. That's it, that's it. That's all the time we have for ipu. You can put your ipu away. You're going to stand on up. I'm going to stay seated. He's going to be our model for some basic hula steps. So you can stand or you can continue doing ipu. That is your choice. But we're going to go over the basic steps that we need for pupu o niiho, which is the mele that we've been studying. So to start off with, we have the kaholo. The kaholo is pretty simple. Hands on the waist, finger to the front, thumbs to the back, no spider hands, slight bend in the knees. And we're going to take four steps to the right and four steps to the left. So we're going to start with that kaholo step. Ready? Bend your knees. Kaholo, right. Here we go. Kaholo to the right. Kaholo to the left. Yep, he's mirroring you. So you should be able to follow right along. Kaholo right. Kaholo left. Kaholo right. Kaholo left. And cool. Very good. The next step that we're going to follow is called the ka-o. So ka-o is, um, a, again, a slight bend in the knees, and the hips are going right and left. Very good. Fingers together on the hips. Ready? Bend the knees. Ka-o. Ka-o right and 
left. Ka'o right, ka'o left. Keep going. Now you'll notice that his feet are fully touching the ground. The style of hula that I was taught by my kumu, Le Momi I Maldonado, is very flat footed. So if you would like to learn our style, try it with flat foot. Kaholo, step right and left. Kaholo, right. Kaholo, left. Kao, sway. Kao, right. Kao, left. Right and left. Kao to the right and left and right and left. Very good. Okay, the next step that you're going to need for this hula is called the lele. It's pretty similar in timing to what we just did with the kao. I'm going to ask him to step all the way back to the back of the carpet so he has room to move. He's going to take four steps forward, right, left, right, left, and then he's going to take four steps back. Again, he's mirroring you, so always step with your right foot first, and he will do what he needs to do. Yes, sir? Yeah, it's like a moving ka'o, lele, it's, it's going. Lele can actually mean um, to f jump yeah. or even to fly. So it's taking that ka'o on the move. Got it? We got it. Okay, here we go. Bend your knees. Lele imwa, start right. Here we go. Right, left, right, and hop it to the back. Right, left, right. And imo going forward, right, left, right, and back, right, left, right, and left. Now, for our choreography coming up in a little bit, we're not only going to go forward and back. Sometimes we're going to go back and forward. And sometimes we're going to go around in a circle. But always keep that lele walking motion alternating between right and left foot. Okay? So the last step that we need for our hula is the hella. So... Heels together, toes pointed slightly out, still flat-footed. Let's do the right foot first, out to the angle, ready, point. Right, hella, left, very good. Right, hella, left, nice job. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Kaholo, back to the basic step. Right, and left, right. And lele imwa, walk forward four times. Right, left, right, ihope, back, right, left, right, kaholo, to the right, to the left, hella, point the feet, right, hella, left, hella, right, kaholo, to the right, and kao, sway, right, left, right, kaholo. And cool. Hey, nice job. Did you do as good as him? I bet you did. I bet you did. Alrighty, at this time I'm going to Ku Iluna. If you're still sitting down, what are you waiting for? Let's Ku Iluna stand on up. And before we get into our hula, which is Pupu Ni'iho, I wanted to share a little bit about someone very special that we have been celebrating all month long, but especially this week. I think he's going to show up right over here. So here is the birthday boy himself, Brada Israel Kamaka Vivo Ole. We actually celebrated his birthday this year and every year on May 20th. So today is May 22nd here in Hawaii, uh, unless you're watching the replay in case. It might be, you know, 2031 by the time you watch this replay. But this is Breda is, um, not Breda was, but Breda is. Um, Israel Kamaka Vivo Ole was a son of Ni'ihau. His mother was actually from the island of Ni'ihau. He sang with the group Makaha Sons of Ni'ihau. And you are probably very familiar with his song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Um, it was actually on this album, uh, this next picture, which is called Facing Future. So this is the album cover of Facing Future, and that's the first album that uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow was featured on. Now, uh, if he were alive today, he would be 62 years old. He actually passed away in 1997 at the young age of 30, 38. And I say young because that's how old I am. And I say he's young. Yeah, and <laughs> he says I'm young. Thank you pay you later okay so <laughs> um but brother is passed away unfortunately too soon at the age of 38 in 1997 but 
it is very exciting because his music lives on. We have been doing hulas to his music all month long, and we are not the only ones celebrating. Actually, last year in 2020, Brother Is was given the honor of being featured on a Google Doodle. So this is, um, you can go check it out, look up Google Doodle, Israel Kamako Vivo Ole, and they did a little animated version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. It is so lovely, and they worked with some Hawaiian artists to do couple patterns and really honor him in um, the best way that we can in 2020 is make it into a Google Doodle. So um, <laughs> this year, actually, he received an perhaps even higher honor. His mele or his cover of Somewhere Over the Rainbow um, was included in the Library of Congress recording registry. So we just found out in March of this year that he has received that honor. Only 25 recordings each year are added to that recording registry. So ho'omaika'i, congratulations to Brother Is and happy, happy birthday. Um, we're going to continue on with his mele for the rest of this month. So thank you for celebrating um, Brother Is with us. And at this time, we're going to dive into Pupuo Ni'iho. Now, Pupuo Ni'iho talks about the island of Ni'iho. So I wanted to just make sure we all know where is Ni'iho. So first, I want to show you a map of the Hawaiian islands. Can we pull that up? Oh, sorry. Where do you want to stand? I just blocked. Stand right there. OK. <laughs> I'll stand over here. We'll just Vanna White it for you. OK. So this is the Pai Aina o Hawaii. This is all of the Hawaiian islands, stretching all the way from uh, the big island of Hawaii on this side oh, over here. <laughs> all the way through and there are actually all of these islands down here that you maybe have never heard of this the northwestern hawaiian islands and they're part of the pai aina or the archipelago of hawaii now ni'iho uh, i'm going to try to stand right above ni'iho so um over here you see Hawaii Island, Maui, Molokai, Oahu, Kauai, and then there's a little tiny smudge underneath um, Kauai, and that is the island of Ni'ihau. So I'm going to show you a bigger map now. That's what Ni'ihau looks like. Ni'ihau is kind of a kind of a diagonal long island. So Molokai is more like long and straight across horizontal. Ni'ihau is the one kind of going like this. And there's a little tiny island on the top that's called Lehua, kind of crescent shaped. So I just wanted to point out to you that um, we talked a little bit about the the main city on the island of Ni'ihau. It's called Pu'uvai, which also means heart. And it's right in the center. I don't know if you can see. You might have to zoom in on your camera. But Pu'uvai is um, pretty much right in line with where my hand is. And then it's all the way on the, what is that, eastern side of the island? That's the west? Western. I don't know my directions, but the western side of this island, right where I'm pointing. So not the pointy part close to me, but the opposite side. That's where Pu'uvai is. That's the main settlement. If there were a capital of um, Ni'ihau, it would be Pu'uvai. Okay? So I just wanted to make sure you knew where we're going with pupu o ni'iho. Of course, they're known for their pupu shells. And so let us review verses 1 and 2 of pupu o ni'iho. Okay, so Pupu o Ni'iho written by Mary Pula'a Robbins, but sung by Israel Kamakavivo Ole and many other Hawaiian musicians. Um, for Pupu o Ni'iho, we're going to start with the vamp. Da, 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 and then we get to Ka'o, Ka'o, Ka'o. Pupu o Ni'iho. You're going to flip your palms over. Are you dancing with me? Or are you sitting down on your couch? Come on, stand up. Let's dance. Yes, that's you. Stand up. Okay, ready? No, no, not you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're going to show your shells, make that little cupped hands down, up, down. That's your ni'iho shells. Ohea means where are you? You're going to look away. And I love that Kian said this, this motion to him looks like vacuum cleaner. And I think I can see it. You see it? This is like the handle of the vacuum cleaner. And this one is, yeah. But you have to look this way to make it look really vacuum cleaner-esque, okay? You, oh, hey, oh, means where are you? And then you're going to search to the right, one, two, and then you're going to switch, one, two. Ho ikea e oi, show your beauty. You're going to cross at the wrist, open. Ho ikea e oi, aikona ni, your beauty. You're going to come straight down your body. Even though this motion describes the beauty of a human being, we often give human characteristics to our plants, our animals, our land. So we're just going to do that body motion for that. Okay? 
So let's give it a try. Pu pu ni i ha. We're gonna holo first to the right with a vamp. Ready, go. Ba di da di da di da di dum and ka o two times right and left. Pu pu o ni i ha. Searching. A u he a o we. Step back two times. Ho i ke a e o we. Hella. I Yeah, I didn't even tell you what the feet were. You just jumped right in. Let's do that one more time, and I'll I'll slow it down. Kaholo first. Pu pu oni ho still kaholo. now step forward two times. Oh we step back two times. Ho ike holo to the right. A e o e a i ko u na ni holo da bi da bi da bi da bi dum and ka o let's try one more time pu 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 o ni i ha u a u he a o we step back two times ho i ke a e o e. I ko na ni and da di da ba da ba da ba dum ka o two times right and left. That's it. So every time you get your vamp in between, you're gonna get the holo, the holo, and then two sways. That's it. Very good. Okay. Now for the second verse, let's see if we can pull up those those lyrics for the second verse here. And so for, sorry, for the second verse, he na ni hie hie, we're talking about that beauty again. So we're gonna bring the hands down just as we did. He na ni hie hie, and then we're gonna look over the shoulder. Oh, e kella, kella kella. You're going to have this kind of look. So instead of this diagonal, now you're gonna go this away. Right hand is across your chest, sort of at a downward angle. Good question, by the way, the other week. And then left hand is up here. You're gonna switch that four times. Two, three, and four. Now the tricky thing about this one is we're gonna be walking around in the circle. Do you remember how that went? Let's take a look at the va vai cam maybe so that we can show you what that looks like. When we do that, we're gonna step with the right foot first and we're gonna turn it behind us just like that. You don't have to really kick it out like that. But you're just gonna step behind, you're gonna step one and then you're gonna turn to the back, two, then step behind again, three and four. Okay, can you try that with me? That lele ka'apuni going around the island. Ready, step, right, first, go. Right, then, left, step, right, then, left. Let's come back to the regular camera so that we can see how our hands go with that. So when you're stepping around, it's gonna be right hand down, left hand up. So the first one is gonna look like this. My left hand is pointing straight towards the front, towards me towards the camera, the computer, the iPad, whatever you're watching, okay? But you're stepping away from the hand, yep. And then you're gonna turn, now you're gonna point to the back. And then you're gonna point to the back and back to the front. That's gonna be your four points. So it's front, back, back, front. Let's go from the ka holo to the right, he nani. He nani, he e, he e, look over. O we ke la, ke la. Very good. Then, ka i i ni nu i i, you're gonna bring your hand in to your heart. Then remember we added the roll, and then give it out. Then pu u vai has a dual meaning of heart, and it's also that city on the island of Ni'ihau. So we're gonna add a place motion in there. That's a lot, right? Ka i i ni nu i i a, o ku u pu u vai, place motion. And then you're right in place to do the holo to the right. Let's do it all the way. Second verse, he na ni, starts with ka o two times. He na ni. He na ni, he e, he e, o we go around. Kella, kella. Ka i i ni nu i i a o ku u pu u va i holo ba bi da bi da bi da bi dum. Okay, that was the first two verses. I'm gonna dance it. You're gonna come join me, Imzi. Thank you. Here is pu pu ni i hao, starting from verse number one, and I have to turn my speaker back on. 
Here we go. Lolo. Just kidding. Can we have words for verse one, please? Thank you. Up. You may notice a delay when using Bluetooth. I don't want to use Bluetooth. Sorry, folks. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Let's try that again. Can you hear that? Hula. Call O2 times. Shell shells. Where are you? Searching forward and back. One, two, three, four. Show your beauty. Hello. Right and left. Nice job. Elbows up. Ka o. Shell, shell, shell. Where you stay? Over there. Over there. Cross. Show the beauty. Second verse, hey nani. body motion, look over the left, walking around four times, one, two, three, and four, roll hard, give it out, place motion, side and side, did you just bang, second chance, no problem, hey nani. Okay, walk around four times, good job, one, two, Four into the heart, roll and give out. Boy, da -di -da 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 -da. That hella is really, really tricky. Why would you put that there? <sighs> well, this is the Ohana Hula class, and we all have to practice our basics, so I just threw it at you right there at the end of every verse. The thing that is maybe helpful is the same feet work for every verse. So you actually already know what the feet is going to be for the third, fourth, and fifth verse. So if you can get that pattern down, no problem. If you, it is, it is hard. You're right. Okay, let's go on to the third verse. Okay, third verse. We're only going to do one more verse of this one today. So it says, we too, we too, we too. Hutu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo, okay. Iluna maua o haupu. We too were at the top of haupu. An interesting side note fact is Eames and I were doing a little bit of research about haupu. Haupu is not even on the island of Niiho, as far as we can tell. We think haupu is actually on the island of Kauai. So I think somebody went on a little staycation to Kauai for this trip because haupu is not even on Niiho. So, well, whatever. So we get the vamp to the side, the vamp to the side, and then hands across your chest. So your hands are right here. Maua means we too exclusive, which means you and me and not them guys. Okay, so you're going to reach out, then you're going to go up to ha'upu. My palms are facing in to begin with, meaning my palms are facing myself, my face. Yeah, use your sort of uh, middle of your, uh, what is it, forearm as a guide of where to put your hands, but they don't have to be touching, not like this, but a little bit separated is good and out to the 45 degree angle. Okay, let's go from Maua. Iluna Maua Aoha. Now on Upu, you're gonna flip your hands over and then you're gonna touch your uh, temples and then you're gonna go up. The reason that we're doing that is because Haupu is the name of the place. And haupu also means a fond memory. So maybe it's that memory of that beautiful trip to haupu on the island of Kauai, Maua. Or of the person. I'm telling you, this kid, he's got all the kauna. Okay, so iluna maua. Let's try it from you and I. Iluna maua. Up to a o ha. Flip over. Upu and fond memories. Upua e. Now, for upua e ki aloha, now this is the feeling of aloha. It starts in our pico. Where's your pico? A little higher, I think. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Right here. So the, the pico is your belly button. 
Let's not go too much lower than that, although maybe that's where your aloha starts. Okay, so you're going to start in your pico. And then you're going to go up to your hopo, which is the center of your chest. That's where all of your hopes and dreams go. Yeah. And then you're going to cross your arms to love. So this is that little spark of love that starts in your pico and comes to your hopes and dreams. And then you finally find your ipo or your love. And then you're going to give out that love to just that one other person, please. Let's keep it, keep it together. Okay. So not too widely spread. Okay, ilu na mau, already? Just the hands. We finish our ka'o, ka'o. Ilu na you and I on the mountain of ha'upu. That's the memory. Upu a e ke aloha no u e ka i po. Now, since we're ending with this, and we always know what is the feat for the ending. Hella, hella. I don't know. He's doing an Irish jig over here. So but <laughs> let's, let's put the feet in backwards this time. So we're going to go from hella, hella. Okay? Put your hands here since we're, we want to try and make sure that we can all get this. Let's hella to the right. Give it out. And then hella to the left. That's it. So that's going to be your ending. Let's just practice in and out and in and out and in and out maybe four times. Ready? Set. Hella right. Hella right. Hella left. Hella right. Hella left. Hello right, hello left, hello right, and hello left. Okay, let's connect that to the vamp now. So we're gonna hello right, hello left, and then do the vamp. Ready, and here we go. Hello right, hello left, and da di da bi da bi da. Try one more time. Hello right, hello left. Ready, go. Hello right, hello left, vamp. Da bi da bi da bi da bi da. Okay, so we're gonna connect it that. Now, remember, right before that is our our love that springs up from the pico to the chest to the love motion and then we get hella hello so this is kaholo to the right kaholo to the left and hella and hella okay let's try kaholo upua e ke aloha no e ka i po holo ba da 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 hey you got it very good i hope you got it out there too Okay, so now let's go to the hop. Let's go all the way to Iluna. So this is going to be you and I at the mountain. That's going to be Kaholo right and left. Then when we flip the hands over, now this is tricky. We're going to step back first because we're really just yeah. leaning back to see that beautiful mountain. So we're going to step back on the right first this time. Right, left, and then we're going to come forward on that memory because we're coming for you. No, just kidding. We just have to not fall off the stage in the back over here. So, okay. So we're gonna we are gonna go back two steps and forward two steps. So every verse the lele is a little bit different, so we can practice all of our directions. Okay, ready? Iluna, kahola to the right. Iluna maua a o. Step back first, right and left and right. Upua e ke aloha no hella e ka i po holo da bi da bi da bi da bi da kao first iluna iluna maua aoha upu upua e ke aloha no cross and open ka i i po and ha pa ta pa chu pa ta pa dum hey you got it that time oh ow <laughs> sheesh <laughs> that was a hard one okay let's try that verse good job everybody <laughs> get ready call iluna iluna out and in up the mountain step back Thoughts from the pico to the hope pole, hella to the love. Holo, elbows up, kao. You and I on the top of Mount Ha. Thoughts. Everybody, oh my, oh my, oh my. someone call the, oh, call the, call the 
mommy rescue team. <laughs> okay, shall we try all three verses? Yes? You don't have a choice, really, but that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Holo. Ka'o. Shao, shao, shao. Vacuum cleaner. Hello, hello. Walking around now. One, two, three, four. Roll. Give place. Why? give you folks a high five though. Boom. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> At this time, we're going to move on to another of Brother Iz's songs. Hey, Hawaii, yo, you can have a seat. And I'm going to teach you a few more lines. We have gotten all the way up to the fourth line. So we're going to go on just a little bit more so that we can add this into what we've been doing. Let's do a quick review. Um, you're going to start with your right foot pointed and you're going to Give your hands up. Actually, we're going to call holo to the right, but that's fine for now. On this night, I am here, body motion, with you. Go straight from your chest, straight forward. Keia po, on this night, you're going to lift the right hand up. Left hand goes to the 45 degree angle. Ua ho'i, bring it back down. Maiao, you're going to bring your hands to this way. Yeah. <laughs> then heloa ka helena. Right hand is at your, your shoulder, left hand is at your hip. You're going to fold your palms uh, open to this corner and a big sweep. Sweep. Hello, Kahelena. On this difficult path, you're going to make a crooked road to the right. Ma, Keala, Hele. And I am searching. Now we get the backwards vacuum cleaner, other way. Ehuli, Eva, Hima, on this place, on this earth. Keao, make a big scooping motion. Okay, and then end with your hands up here. Let's try. I'll talk you through the feet for this very slowly. Ike, ya pull. Ready, set, kaholo, right. E, kaholo, left. Ke, ya pull. Kaholo. E, ya, still kaholo. Me, oe. On this night, lift the right. Ke, ya Drop it down. Ua, ho, e. Now we get four kao. Ma, e, o. Two. Three, four, holo. Hello, ka helena. Still ka holo. Ma, ke ala hele. Now lean on the right foot and pause. Ehuli. Now lean back. Ke ia. What? Ehuli wa hima. Ke ia ao is going to be ka o four times. Ke ia ao. Sorry, got to the ke ia too, too, too early. Too, 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 too early. <laughs> Okay, let's review that much with the music, and then we will go on for two more lines. 
this is a good review. This Hey Hava Iyao um, will fit together with the song that we are learning on Tuesdays. So if you would like to come this week, we're going to add it all together. Beneath my wings. That's Wind Beneath My Wings, and then it's going into this. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Sorry, I was listening to you. Okay, here we go. It's going to go right into Hey Hava Iyao. You are the wind. Ready for Ikea pole, can start down here. Ikea pole. I am here with you on this night. I have returned. Come. One, two, three. Kaholo, big scoop. On this difficult path, right and left. Pause, lean, lean back, combo four times, one, two, three, four, okay, so let's add just a few more lines before we're gone for today, your hands are going to come down to your thoughts, mao popo ao, and then back out again, ua ike, when it says ike, it's knowledge, but sometimes you know in your heart, not in your head. So you're going to come from that whole po, that same place that we talked about, and then open. Okay? So mau popo, I understand in my brain, and I know in my heart what ike ho'i, I truly understand. Now you're going to open your hands out. Kahome means the house or the home or the place that I belong. So you're going to put a roof right over your head. No thumbs, just the, the fingers touching together. And then you're going to pull it down. It says, even if I'm outside of Hawaii, like many of you folks are, my home is where my heart wants to be, which is maybe Hawaii. Maybe Hawaii is in your heart. You carry it with you wherever, y wherever it goes. So although this song, the title says, I am Hawaiian, it really means I am Hawaiian at heart. And Hawaii is in my heart. So let's go from Mao Popo. From up above, you're going to touch to your temples. Mao Popo ah. And I know in my heart, ua i ke ho i, that the home. Ka ho me i loko ku u, bring it down. Pu u vai. Ua ho i means I have returned. You're going to make a big circle around like that. So I don't know if you saw what I did there. From here, I'm going to pull my left elbow back. And my right hand is going to stretch all the way from this side, across, and let's try that one more time. Pull the el left elbow back. Ua ho'i maio. Ke ike means I know. You're going to bring your right hand to your temple. Ke ike. And you're going to bring your left hand underneath. Ne o. Oh, what a cliffhanger. That's all the time we have for today. <laughs> I'm not joking, really. That's really all the time. Okay. Mao Popo Ao, we're going to bring your hands in. Kaholo Re. And Mao Popo Ao. And I know in my heart. Ua i ke ho i the home. Kahome i loko ku u kao four times. Pu u vai two, three, and holo. Ua ho i. My ke i ke ne Check back next week to learn the rest of the hula. Okay, we'll try it with music one time. What a cliffhanger chord. Sheesh, Peter Moon. Okay, all together. Hey, how about you? This night, I have returned four kao here. One, two. Hello, Kahelena. Long has been my journey. On this difficult path, I have been searching for a place on this earth. After all that searching, finally, I understand. like on 
the network TV when they go, to be continued. <laughs> Come back next week for that, friends. <laughs> Before we end today, I want to say one more um, congratulatory message to some very, very dear, dear, dear friends and ohana of ours. Our, um, our wahine, Sayan, is finally getting to marry her ipo, her aloha, her, her dear one, her, um, the other half her other half, Calvin, and Cyan and Calvin, we are so excited for you. I wanted to give all of our entire global hula ohana the opportunity to wish Cyan and Calvin ho'omaika'i congratulations. So please go ahead and type in all of the love for Cyan and Calvin and for Sharon and for Tom and for all of our hula ohana. We are so excited to be celebrating with you. We're going to tune in to their wedding virtually, but I wanted to be able to share the love from all of you folks. So I already saw Joey put in a nice message um, and yay, thank you, Joey. I'm going to give you folks a little time because I know it's take, you're writing some really nice messages for Sayatin and Kelvin, right? And we're going to pop them up here so that they will know. Um, I wore my pink today and I know their colors are pink and green and monstera. So if you folks see a beautiful monstera today, um, whether it's on a walk here in Hawaii or in your home, in your garden. Think of Cyan and Calvin. Yay! Thanks, Mallory, for those messages for Cyan and Calvin. We're so excited for them to be able to start this next chapter in their lives. They love books. So, um, so this is the next chapter for Cyan and Calvin and also for um, Kumo, which is their, their little doggy, and their cat is, I think, named Hobbs, or <laughs> I can't remember. I'm sorry, I'm blanking out on your cat's name. But um, the Lao Ohana, uh, I think their hashtag is let's get loud, because <laughs> they're going to be the Lao family. Calvin and Cyan, soon to be Lao. Um, Ho'omaika'i, we love you folks so, so much. Eames, you want to come say congratulations and, and give your love on camera? What do you want to say to Auntie Sayan and Uncle Calvin? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, at this point in the day, that's a lot. He gave you a yay. <laughs> yay. Well, we're so proud of you folks for uh, sticking through the pandemic and waiting until, um, you know, it was just the perfect time. And today is going to be a fabulous day. We can't wait to celebrate with you. Um, uh, Uncle Luke, will you come and at least put your face in here? This is going to be our, this is our card. This is our wedding card to you. So uh, <laughs> can you stand up a little bit taller? So we're, we're so happy for you folks. We just, this is just, this is how we do our, our wedding <laughs> cards these days. So congratulations, virtual Cyan wedding. and Calvin. I think this is what we do now, virtual weddings. It's virtual cool. hula. <laughs> Congratulations. Love you guys. All right. Subscribe for more. <laughs> Subscribe for more wedding it <laughs> wedding updates from Kumu Kanoi. Just kidding. All right. At this time, I want to thank you for sticking with us through all of the craziness. I know it's been um, a kind of a party day. Happy birthday to Brother Is. Ho'omaika'i. Congratulations to Cyan and Kelvin. And mahalo to you folks for being part of our hula ohana and for learning right alongside us. We're going to close right now um, with some probably poi balls on the deck. So if you'd like to grab your poi balls and join Eames out on the deck, we're going to have some poi balls and some fun. Until next time, ahui ho.